I feel a need. I need to chew gum. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Ford vs. Ferrari, a movie that I've been looking forward to quite a bit because it's the return of James Mangold. Mangold has done a lot of really good work in the film industry in the last little while. He proved that with Logan that comic book movies can be taken so seriously that they can even be nominated for an Academy Award. He has done a lot of good movies in his career. One of them that I feel is very overlooked is 310 to Yuma, probably one of the better westerns to come out in the last decade. And that movie, conveniently enough, has Christian Bale in it, who played a very good, compelling character in that movie. And in this film, he kind of plays the exact opposite, whereas in 310 to Yuma, he was a very tortured, very self-hating soul. In this one, man, he definitely has no filter. And that's one of the very many, many good things about this movie. The film follows Ford's attempt to try and beat Ferrari in the 24-hour Le Mans race back in the early 60s, late 70s. And this movie makes me never want to buy a Ford. The absolute bureaucracy that these guys have to deal with while trying to make a Ford car for this competition to help them win, they keep putting their freaking foot in the door every step of the way. Now, I know that there are some elements of this story that are not true. There are a few bits here put in for dramatic narrative, but there are a couple that are true. Some of the more ridiculous ones are the ones that are actually true, whereas some of the ones that you would think aren't are actually false or just a little bit fabricated. The chemistry between Matt Damon and Christian Bale is so good. These two characters are people who are committed to making a car. They're committed to winning a race. I know that there was more people involved with this, obviously. I like that the narrative focuses on these two. It doesn't focus on the company. It's not blowing Ford's gaskets. It is on these two. Shelby and Miles, their teamwork, their admiration for each other, the conflicts that they go through, and their ultimate goal of being achieved is such a good time to watch in this movie. The dramatic tension between the two of them and Ford as well as Miles with his family works way better than I thought it would. Every time I was expecting kind of a stereotype or kind of just this cheesy sort of conversation, I really dug it. I could get into these characters' lives, I could get into the seat of the car with them and enjoy both the off-the-track moments as well as the on-the-track moments. If there's a film that I can kind of compare this to, it's 2012's Ron Howard's Rush which is such a good movie. This movie gave me a lot of vibes of that, whereas there's just as much tension off the track as there is on the track. And this movie does that so well with its narratives from the race to get to Le Mans, to getting the car there, to then getting into the race. The movie starts off right off the bat by putting you in a zone of anxiety by showing when Shelby won a 24-hour Le Mans, but then his ticker starts to kind of affect him and he drives into black. And I've had that nightmare so many times that it freaked me out and I didn't expect that. And that's kind of how I feel throughout the whole movie. There's these moments that will pull you in so drastically and you are hooked. My friend who went and saw the movie with me, she said there were several times in the movie where I just leaned forward and was on the tip of my toes during the race sequences. I enjoy movies like this because we have lost that. Just seeing really good race scenes. It's hard to do. Yes, admittedly the CG now can help with that. There are some scenes where the CG is like Otherwise, we are always put in the car and it is always an intense sequence. They are all so well put together. The amount of camera work that's put into it, the amount of humor that is actually put into it too. I actually was thoroughly enjoying this movie all the way up until the end. And then my one complaint came up. I've never seen the TV show Speed Racer, but I saw the movie the Wachowskis made. But I can still imagine that there must have been moments when two racers would come up alongside each other and do this. Oh, yeah! It's not that ridiculous, but the amount of times where Christian Bale turns left and looks right and they, he's all eye to eye with a racer. I know obviously there would be some times where it might have happened, maybe once or twice, this since it's a 24 hour race. But the amount of times that it happens in the sequence is so ridiculous. However, the last time it does happen works towards the finale of the film. 
and I did enjoy it, but that's the one part that I would say that it got a little bit too Hollywood for me in the finale. Except then there's one point where he just goes on a tear for a, like a lap record and it's so good. I love that part. Going actually into the race too, we actually get something that a lot, a lot of movies do is the track becomes a character. There's parts of the track that you'll start to recognize in this sequence. I don't know, maybe the sequence is like half an hour long or so, but to put the audience into a point of remembering these parts to seeing these elements and anticipating them and as well as being relieved when something different happens at those scenes is a great visual storytelling in terms of racing and I love that they did that. Ford versus Ferrari I thought was going to be good but I didn't expect it to be this good. Yes there's a little bit of narrative Hollywooding throughout. Yes there are some scenes that maybe treading the line in terms of being a true story, but I still think that this movie does exactly what it's meant to do. It does give Shelby and Miles service to what they did for Ford. It makes me never want to buy a Ford ever though. I like that it doesn't suck their gaskets, and I do very much recommend this movie. This is actually probably going to be on my top 10 for the year. I'm gonna give Ford vs Ferrari a 6 out of 7. I can't wait to watch this movie again. It already makes me want to watch Rush again, too, which is awesome. And I should review that movie because that is also a very good movie. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you enjoyed my little vroom 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 in this. If you like this video, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. Be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.